Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays, and I've managed to get Marvel Champions back out on the board. So last time we kind of got trashed by Taskmaster. We're working on our expert playthrough, and as we left off, we had our adrenal stems, which we've got right here. We've got the recovery upgrade, which we got last go around, and we ended the game with, uh, we'd taken five damage, so we had four remaining hit points. So, with the five damage that we've got on us, um, we carry that over, and then we've got our max of nine hit points plus four, so our max is 13 right now. The other things are, there's an energy shield, power gauntlets, and the exosuit are all in Taskmaster's deck. So, um, I think we're set up and ready to go here. When Taskmaster comes out, I need to get an encounter card. So, I'm going to start off with an encounter card. And then when I change hero form, I need to grab an encounter card, see how many boost icons, and take damage equal to that. And then, in step one, I have to put a threat here or take a damage. So uh, this could go badly quite quickly, but we'll see what happens here. All right, start off, starting hand is hand size six for Clint Barton there. So let's grab six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got... Whoop. Um, Nick Fury right off the bat. Some endurance right off the bat would be nice. Also, we crank ourselves all the way up to 16 hit points. Would be way cool. Combat training would be nice to hold on to. She-Hulk could dish the damage right from the beginning. I think Nick Fury is going to be the way to go out of the gate here. Um, Hall of Heroes could be okay. I think we're gonna go with Nick Fury. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna get Fury out. Fury's gonna come into play. We're gonna hold on to our endurance. Yep. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. We've gotta do a different thing, which is we need to, uh, ooh, I have to spend a resource to go after a card or after my bow. Um, let's see here. Oh, actually, I can hold off on that. So let's do our four. Put Nick Fury into play. We're going to draw three. So one, two, three. And we've got Explosive Arrow, Hulk, and Vibranium Arrow. Hmm, okay. That's going to be a tough choice because I could bring Hulk into play too. So I think we're going to use our Explosive Arrow to go get our bow. So that's our spend one resource of any type, search your deck and discard pile for Hawkeye's bow. So there's Marksman, Marksman, looks kind of like a bow. There's the quiver, there's the bow, So now we've got a bow. All right, I'm going to shuffle this back up. And then, ooh, I've got the Vibranium Arrow, so I could Vibranium Arrow, or I could do Hulk. Oh, that's a tough choice. The Vibranium Arrow, so I could also sit on another hero turn. We've got 12 to thread out here, which is not too bad, so I could just sit down this turn and heal and go into next turn at full health. Which might not be a bad idea. And I can come back with a full hand size, so I can get my bow out there. Um, and then we do a, I think we do a Hulk. I'm going to skip the Endurance, and we're going to get a Hulk out there. All right. So then the next question is, do I have Nick Fury take care of the Hydra, Hydra Patrol? He's going to put a Hydra Minion into play. I think we will do that. We'll have Nick Fury take care of the Hydra Patrol. And we're going to go grab a minion. And it's going to be put into play. So let's see here. Which one do we want? We want somebody that doesn't have a whole lot on them. There's the Hydra Regular. Which he's pretty put. He's only got two health. That may be the one to go after. The Hydra Soldiers have four, which is a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's go after, let's go after the little Hydra Regulars. Where did they go? I saw them a second ago. 
There we go. There's a hydro regular. So he's got an insight one that happens when it's revealed, and right now he's being put into play. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up, have Hulk go off. So let's see here. Hulk's going to do his attacky thing. So he's going to attack Taskmaster for three. So we're going to take him from 16 down to 13. And then we have to see what kind of business Hulk does, because Hulk does Hulk business. All right. And we're going to get a physical resource, which means he deals two damage to an enemy, which will take the Hydra regular out. All right. Now, question is, what do I do with Clint Barton here? I could come out swinging, or I think I need to take a recovery turn. So let's do that. We're going to recover. So we're going to cover for three plus one from over here. So recover for four. So we're only a down taking one damage. All right. I'm going to flip up after that. Ready all of our stuffs. We'll draw back up to our hand size of six, which is the other reason that I wanted to stay Clint Barton. Hand size of six is nice. And we've got Marksman, Genius, Cable Arrow, Strength, Valkyrie, First aid. All right. Oh, you should have both taken a consequential damage. My bad. One there and one there. Okay. We're over to the villain's turn. So let's see here. After resolving step one of the villain phase, so we're going to throw a threat on the main scheme. Then after resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form must choose to either place one threat here or take one damage. I'm not in hero form, so I don't have to worry about that. All right. Taskmaster is going to see Clint Barton out here, so he's going to scheme. He schemes for two. He's going to get a boost of one. He's going to scheme for three. So we're up to five on the main scheme. All right, then we're going to encounter cards. So we've got two encounter cards. All right, encounter card number one is a Hydra Hunter. So he's going to get... Piercing and ranged. Mm. He's got three health. And then we've got a captured by Hydra. When revealed, place one random set aside captive ally face down beneath this scheme. All right, so I'm going to set this out here. And then I've got my four allies right here. I'm going to shuffle them up, put them out there. So that's kind of a, a nice and not nice thing. <laughs> Because you kind of want that to be out there because you want to get these allies. But it's also five threat and acceleration token to get rid of it. So it's kind of rough. All right. So we'll put our allies here. We're going to put one underneath there. And it's got five threat on it. All right. That's the end of the villain's turn. So Nick Fury's going to go away. And we're back up to the hero phase. All right. So we've got Valkyrie. If she comes into play and I use a energy resource, which I don't have out here other than using my expert marksman to do it, she does three damage, which could take out the Hydra Hunter. The other side of that is Hulk might attack and do one damage to everything. And if that's the case, then I don't have to worry about her doing the damage there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to have Hulk attack. We'll have Hulk attack Taskmaster. So he's going to do three. And then we're going to see what his card is, which comes from my stack of stuff, and we get a energy. So that is the one damage to each character. All right. Unfortunately, that was my vibranium arrow, which is kind of a downer, because I would have liked to have had that. All right. So we're doing one damage to everybody. So Hulk's going to take one. Hydra Hunter's going to take one. I'm going to take one, and Taskmaster's going to take one. All right, so he's down to nine. Now, let's see here. The good side of that is when I bring Valkyrie in, now I don't need to worry about using a energy resource specifically, because two will take out the hunter. So, let's see here. 
And we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip over to Hawkeye. So when I do that, I trigger Taskmaster, who says after a player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the boost icons on the card. So we've got one. All right, we'll take one. So we're up to three damage on us. All right, now as Hawkeye, I've only got a thwart of one. I would really like to get that ally out. I'm trying to figure out if I prioritize that above taking out Taskmaster, because I could deal three, four, five, deal five to Taskmaster, which is pretty good. But I think we're going to go ahead and... How are we going to do this? That's overpaying for Valkyrie. So I'm going to overpay, I think, no matter what I do here. Because I think I want to shoot my Cable Arrow. My Cable Arrow is going to cost me one. But when I bring Valkyrie in, I don't think I've got an efficient use of resources there. First aid on Hulk wouldn't be bad either, but I don't think we're going to do that. All right, so we're going to get our, we're going to use our first aid to get our expert marksman out there. Um, we are going to use our expert marksman to fire our cable arrow, which is exhaust my bow. I'm going to do... Remove three threat from a scheme, ignoring any crisis icons. So we're going to knock this down to two. All right. And then we're going to bring Valkyrie into play. Now, I'm not using any energy resources. It's both mental and physical. So she's only going to do two damage. But that's enough to take out the Hydra Hunter. Hydra Hunter is going to go away. I'm going to have her thwart for one, and I'm going to have Hawkeye thwart for one. So we're going to get rid of the Captured by Hydra. So Captured by Hydra, let's take a look at that, says... Place one random set-aside captive ally face down beneath the scheme. When the scheme is defeated, the player who defeated it takes the ally into their hand and removes the scheme from the game. All right. So, oh, scheme is out of the game. Not in the discard pile. So we get an ally and we get Moon Knight. So after you play Moon Knight from your hand, spend a wild resource, draw two cards. Well, I'm not going to do that, but we've got Moon Knight out here. And I think we're going to have Moon Knight go ahead and we'll have him attack for two. Let's work down Taskmaster here. And he's going to take a consequential. So we're going to be done. And I've got three folks out there, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Oh, and Hulk should have taken one, so I missed the Hulk taking one also. Because he's done two things, and he took one damage when everybody took one. Okay, I think we're caught up. And you done tap those. And we're over to the villain's turn. So first thing on the villain's turn, I'm going to put one threat on the main scheme. And then because I'm in hero form, I need to figure out if I'm going to take one damage or put a threat there. We're going to take the damage. All right, and then we've got Taskmaster. So Taskmaster is going to see Hawkeye out there and want to attack. Uh, I think we're going to take this attack because we've got 13 hit points. We've only taken four, so he's going to attack for two. He's going to get a boost of two, so he's going to hit me for four. All right, so I've taken eight. My hope is to do some damage this turn, but I don't know for sure. I would know better if I actually drew my cards to uh, let me know what it is I'm going to do this next turn. Okay. Yeah, that's going to work out better. Okay. Um, then we need an encounter card because he did his attack. He attacked me. Counter card is... Ooh, hold on. I've got an alarm going off in my bucket here. Okay, no more alarm. All right, so we have a Mimicry. When revealed, hero, discard the top five cards of your deck. If an attack card was discarded in this way, Taskmaster attacks me. All right. Odds are this is a Hawkeye deck and I'm going to get attacked. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. 
Oh, I was close. We do have, there's an attack event right there. All right, so Taskmaster is going to attack me. Now, I'm not down with taking that much damage. So, I think we're going to put Valkyrie in front of this one. So he's attacking for two. We're going to take a boost of one. So Valkyrie takes three and Valkyrie's out. All right. We're back to the hero side of the board. All right, we got all sorts of fun things we can do now that we're on the hero side of the board. Uh, we could get our quiver out. And then we can only play one of our arrows. And then it would be which arrow do we want to do? Probably the sonic arrow, because I think we're going to want to rest up going into the next turn. So if we're going to do that, then... Maybe I'm better off just shooting the Sonic Arrow. I kind of want to play downtime too, but it, oh, I can because I can do this and this to shoot the Sonic Arrow. I can get my quiver out. All right, let's use one of our electric arrows to get our quiver out. All right, then so I can play arrow events attached to this card. I can exhaust Hawkeye's quiver, look through my top five cards and see if I find an arrow. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have an arrow? I've got a Mockingbird, War Machine, and Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So, no. This is a problem that I've had in the past where my quiver has not been very reliable. But, uh, yeah. That's okay. It's not going to be a big deal this turn. All right. So, we're going to use our Expert Marksman and our... What am I missing here? I got Hawkeye's Quiver out. Oh, I can't play downtime and my thing. Dang it. I really want, I would really like downtime, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So we're going to Expert Marksman, Electric Arrow to do our Sonic Arrow, which is gonna do three damage. And it's gonna confuse Taskmaster. So Taskmaster is gonna be down to four. He's going to be confused, confused. All right. Um, and that exhausted our bow. So next up, we can deal some Hulk damage, and we've got Moon Knight out there. I think we have Hulk do Hulk stuff first. Yes, because that might flip Taskmaster. So we're going to go ahead and have Hulk attack. Hulk's going to attack for three, so Taskmaster is down to one. I'm going to see what Hulk does. So Hulk's going to do a one damage to everybody. <laughs> All right, so Taskmaster's going to take one. I'm going to take one. Hulk's, that's going to end up taking Hulk out because that's going to cap him up to five and Moon Knight's going to take one. So he's not quite out, but he's pretty close. All right, so we've got Taskmaster going away. And we have a win revealed, deal each player an encounter card. All right, so we get an encounter card. And when we flip the hero, we're going to take damage equal to boost icons. All right, so... Taskmaster 3 has 17 hit points. So 10, 5, and a 2. All right, I'm going to hurt unit. I'm at, I've taken 9 damage out of 13, so I really need to take a rest. But I also need to get some of the threat off of the main scheme, so I think we're going to use Moon Knight, or I could go ahead and use my Adrenal Stems. Is that going to buy me the time that I need to come out and do damage? So I need to do 17 damage, which is not impossible, but I've got two electric arrows, vibranium arrows, both my vibranium arrows and, my ex and one of my explosive arrows or two of my explosive arrows. Um, let's see here. I see one of my explosive arrows. So a lot of my good damage dealing 
cards are in my discard pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven cards over here that I really need to sort through. So I think we're going to need to stall. We have Moon Knight take two off of the main scheme, so it's going to knock it down to four. From six down to four, she's going to get rid of Moon Knight. I need to buy some time there, is my thought. All right, we're going to flip over to Clint Barton, and we're going to take a nap. So we recover for three plus one from our recovery, so we're going to recover for four, which takes us down to only have taken five damage. And then we're going to be done. We're going to tap lots of things. We're going to draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Oop, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. We should get five because we're holding on to our downtime. All right, so we've got a skilled strike, war machine, mockingbird, explosive arrow, and a martial prowess. All right, villain's turn. We're going to put a threat on the main scheme. Uh, I'm not hero form, so that does not trigger, and that happens when I go to hero form. Taskmaster's going to see Clint Barton out here, but he's confused, so he doesn't scheme. And then we get another encounter card. All right, so encounter card number one is Mimicry, Alter Ego, the top five cards of your deck. If a thwart card was discarded this way, Taskmaster schemes. All right, so let's see if we have a thwart card in there. So one, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. Five. All right. So there was a thwart card. My cable arrow is a thwart card. So Taskmaster is going to scheme. He's going to scheme for three, and he's going to get a bonus of one. So he's going to scheme for four. All right. That's going to put us at, what is that? That puts us at nine out of 12. Ouch. All right, encounter card number two, Taskmaster Sword. So his attacks gain piercing, and he gets plus one attack. Ow, so he hits harder. Okay. Not where we want to be at. All right. That's the end of the villain's turn, though. All right, so what are we looking at hero-wise? We can go hero. We've only got one card, so... Um, Digging for, well, we can see, we would know if that's an arrow. So cable arrow, I don't think I've seen my, oh, there's my other explosive arrow. We've got cable arrow, we've got sonic arrow, electric, electric, sonic, cable, two vibraniums, and explosive. I think we've got all of our arrows, so that's not an arrow at this point. All right. Other things we're looking at here is, oh, we could shoot our explosive arrow. Um, bringing Mockingbird, Mockingbird is a powerhouse. It would be great to bring Mockingbird into play. So we can shoot our explosive arrow with our Hawkeye's bow. We can bring Mockingbird into play and we're sitting on downtime yet again. So do we go that route? And we can recover first. So I think we do that. We do a recovery. Are we worried about this scheming out? It's at nine. It's going to get one. I potentially take a damage. I take some for flipping. I think I recover before I do the damage. I think that's the way we go here. I could use my adrenal stems if it gets bad. All right, so we're going to recover. I'm going to recover for four, which is going to kick me down to one. All right, we're going to flip over to Hawkeye. When I do that, I'm going to reveal a card and take that amount of damage. So two. So I'm going to take two damage. All right. I've got to remember Taskmaster gains piercing, so War Machine's toughness wouldn't do a whole lot. Uh, the other option, I guess, would be well, we can go like this, and I can hold on to my skilled strike. 
And then when I do a basic attack, I could hit for three, four, five. I think that's a thing to hold on to. All right, so we're going to use our expert marksman to shoot our explosive arrow. And then we have to tap Hawkeye's bow to do that. So we're going to do three damage. We're going to knock him down to 14. We're going to bring Mockingbird into play. And we're going to tap Mockingbird and have her attack for two. So he's down to 12. All right. Um, Hawkeye's Quiver, we'll just use Hawkeye's Quiver. We've got one card, so we don't get to see what it is. Oh, it's Century. Get shuffled back in. Then I think we're done at that point in time. So we're going to untap. Untap, untap, untap. And we're going to draw, we're going to hold on to our skilled strike and we're going to draw back up to a hand size of five. Get those arrows nice and shuffled back in there. All right, so right now the Taskmaster's attacking for four plus a boost card. Ouch. All right, so we got one, four more cards. There we go, hand size five. All right, so we've got Century, Explosive Arrow, War Machine, and Martial Prowess. Okay. All right, Villain's turn. We're going to put one threat on the main scheme, so it's going to go up to 10. Get the rest of this stuff out of here. All right, then I'm going to decide, do I take a damage or put a threat? We're going to take a damage. Oh, I reshuffled my deck, so there should be another counter card out here. All right, Taskmaster. Is staring me down, and he's going to want to attack. I think we're going to, when the villain initiates attack against you, spend one resource of any type, return Mockingbird to your hand, prevent all damage from this attack. So we're going to put Mockingbird back in my hand by spending our martial prowess. All right, so we're going to prevent the damage from the attack. He's still going to do the attack, so he's attacking for three, four. He's going to boost of two more, so that's six damage, all prevented. All right, so encounter card and encounter card. All right, encounter card number one is uh, Criminal Past. Um, so I'm gonna either exhaust, flip to Clint and exhaust, or discard Hawkeye's bow from play to discard the obligation. So if my bow goes away, all right, so let's think about this. If my bow goes away, that means I can't shoot arrows. That means I can attack. I'm not going to have enough to play. Well, I could play Sentry. But we're also sitting on 10 threat there. Ugh. So I think I'm going to need to flip... I'm going to need to flip to Clint and exhaust. And this card is going to go away. All right. Or let's see here. Let's think about this. So you may flip to Alter Ego. And then I choose discard Hawkeye's bow from play or discard the obligation. So I could just discard the bow from play, and then get it back. Do I want to be exhausted? I don't think so, because I can come out, and if I get my bow back, I can do five attack straight up just with my my hand-to-hand. -hand. And then I could get my bow back and shoot for another three. 
Yeah, I think we're going to discard our bow is what we're going to do. And then we're going to discard this obligation. All right. Encounter number two is uh, Power Gauntlets. So attached to the villain. He's getting more stuff. Okay. So that's the end of the villain's turn. We're over to the hero's turn. All right. Now, that was kind of messy. So what are we looking at now is we're going to want to discard a card in order to get our Hawkeye's bow back. Spend one resource of any type. So if I do that, then I have to make a choice. I'm probably just going to play Mockingbird, which is going to take some of my damage away, but I think that's the way we go. So we're going to discard Sentry to get our bow back. Uh, we're going to put our bow into play. Actually, let's do it this way. We're going to flip the Hawkeye. We're going to grab a card and see how much damage we take. We take star. If you're in hero form, take one damage. Otherwise, place one threat on the main scheme. All right. Well, actually, it's after a player changes form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons. So that's not going to happen. So there's no boost icons. I don't take any damage. Good. All right. Now I can play my bow. Actually, let's do our quiver first and see what comes into our quiver. So we can get one, two, three, four, five. And we've got a cable arrow comes into our quiver. Which is not exciting, but is okay. All right, so where we're at then is, well, we can shoot our cable arrow. We could use Hawkeye's bow to play Mockingbird and hit with Mockingbird in a skilled strike, which would do four damage. That's not enough. I think we need to get our bow out there. Yeah. All right. We're going to bring our bow into play. And then we're going to bring Mockingbird into play. And then I think we're just going to attack because... We could shoot our cable arrow. That would exhaust our bow. So it would be resource. Well, we might as well shoot our cable arrow. So resource to shoot our cable arrow, which is going to exhaust our bow. We're going to move three threat. So this is going to go down to seven. All right, we're going to have Mockingbird attack for two. He's down to 10, and we're going to attack for 3, so he's down to 7. All right, so we're going to untap. Ready up. We're going to draw 5 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we've got one on Mockingbird because she did a thing. All right. Villain's turn. I'm going to put a threat on the main scheme. We're in hero form, so we decide if we do another, we're going to do another threat on the main scheme. There we go. So it's back up to nine. Taskmaster is going to look to attack Hawkeye, and we're going to go ahead and use our first aid to bring Mockingbird back to our hand and prevent all of the damage. All right, so he's doing three, four, and zero. After the attack, villain attacks and damages you, discard one card. So he's not going to do any damage. So we get a boost of zero. That's a good time to get that out of there. All right. Um, then we need an encounter card. All right, our encounter card is... Uh, Shadows of the Past. Okay. That means that Crossfire is going to come into play. 
And what's our side is marked for death is going to come into play. So that's got five on it. Crossfire's got quick strike and his attacks gain piercing. So he's going to come in and he's going to attack me for two and I'm going to take two. I don't like that, but I'm going to take it. All right. Because there's nothing else I can do about it. Damn it. Uh, oh no. So Mark for Death, when Clint Barton comes into play, Mockingbird goes beneath that card, so I lose my Mockingbird. Oof da. Okay, that wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be so close. So I've got, in my hand, I've got three, six damage. I don't have quite enough to take him out. Oh, man. All right. We are going to draw. So we're done with the villain's phase. <laughs> that did not go right. Uh... We're going to go to the hero's phase. First off, we're going to start off with our bow. So we need five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we've got. We've got Yarnborn. Oh, that's what we needed. The Vibranium Arrow. All right. I think the Vibranium Arrow is going to end it for us. Yep, it should. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use... Expert Marksman in Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Tap our bow to shoot our Vibranium Arrow. Vibranium Arrow does uh, six damage. So six damage to Taskmaster is going to knock him down to one. Then we can just attack. Ooh, actually. Oh, man. Would be nice to get a rest off, but I don't think that I can, because I can't go recovery and then shoot an arrow. Oh, darn it. So yeah, I think we're just going to have to attack and take him out. That takes out Taskmaster. End of Taskmaster. All right. So that's good. We got the win on Expert versus Taskmaster. Bad is, well, let's see here. We've got 13 max. So next, what we need to think about is how many hit points do we have? So we have 13, and we've taken 6 damage, so that means we've taken, um, well, okay. We've got 4 bonus from this, or basic recovery. So essentially, 4 is going to come off of here, and it's going to look like 2 damage, because that's what takes us back down to 9 hit points. So we've got 2 damage that we're maintaining throughout. So where's my pencil? I don't have my pencil anywhere. Darn it. All right. We'll remember that. So I'm going to get, I'm going to have remaining hit points of two. Also, I gained um, Moon Knight. I really wish I would have got more, but in a single player game, that's not too bad. At least I got one and I got it out of the way. And it was a pretty close game. So um, we will get two hit points, two remaining hit points, and we have Moon Knight. And then we're going to move on to, let's see. Where's my book? We took out Taskmaster. So Taskmaster down. Did Absorbing Man. We just did Taskmaster. That's going to put us into Zola. So I've still got my Hall of Heroes in the deck, and I think that's going to make tons of fun versus Zola. So um, hopefully we can take out those minions pretty quick. But uh, yes, we got the victory. Yeah. All right. That went a little bit better than the last game. Um, also, big props to Mockingbird. So Mockingbird, out of this game, I'd say Mockingbird was kind of the key. She kept me alive the longest there. Spend the resource, go back to hand, prevent the damage is just crazy, massive awesomeness. Hawkeye's Quiver didn't do me a whole lot of good until the end when I really needed it. I reached back and the perfect arrow was there. So that's like the storybook ending for a Hawkeye thing, so... All right, done with that game. If I miss something, let me know. But I think that wraps up Taskmaster, and we'll go into Zola on expert mode next. So that's it for now, and thanks for watching.